want to talk with you about briefly today is just uh, the company. It's really exciting to be a part of the third largest telecommunications company in the nation. Uh, talk with you about some of the things impacting all of us. But there's just so much more opportunity to compete um, on a larger scale. A little about our principles, our culture. Uh, I think people are very excited and interested in you know, what the new company is going to be like. Some of the things that we tell investors across the country. We just want to see what the direction is going to be and what the growth opportunities are. I think we're excited to see where the company's going and the leadership. I'm excited about bringing our companies together. Let's be the first, the biggest, the baddest, and the best. With annual revenues of $18.5 billion, CenturyLink is an industry-leading advanced communications company dedicated to delivering superior products and services, including broadband, entertainment, voice and business services, and wireless data offerings with unparalleled customer focus. Operating in 37 states, CenturyLink has approximately 5.3 million broadband customers, 1.6 million video subscribers, 1.1 million wireless customers and nearly 15.4 million access lines. With business and government customers across the country, CenturyLink also has a 190,000 root mile national fiber network from coast to coast. It's a strong asset for this company. It's an asset that we can leverage to drive revenues, to control our cost, control our own destiny. CenturyLink's three primary operating groups include the Business Markets Group, consisting of business and government accounts, generating approximately 20% of annual revenue and led by Chris Ansel. The Regional Markets Group, made up of consumer and small, medium and some enterprise business customers, as well as field services, generating 60% of revenue and led by Chief Operating Officer Karen Puckett. And the Wholesale Markets Group, which serves customers consisting of other communications companies, including wireless carriers, generating 20% of revenue and led by Bill Cheek. With Savvis, we'll have 58% of our revenues coming from the enterprise sector, which is in today's world more, more uh, stable. There's an amazing amount of uh, technology being developed in the enterprise area, the, the small and medium-sized business area that we believe we can help bring to these customers and drive revenue streams. And on the consumer side, we, uh, we have a lot of data products we can drive. It's a lower percentage of our, of our total revenue now, but still a very important piece of it. And the other thing we've done, we've reduced our reliance on regulatory revenues now. Only, they're only 7% of our total uh, revenue. Recent acquisitions have significantly enhanced CenturyLink's global scale, competitive position, operating results, and customer base. As our business customers across the country are seeing a lot of value in bringing these companies together. We have greater scale, we enhanced our product offerings, we have a broader access footprint, we're stronger financially now. I think having the footprint all over the country, being in a lot of major markets, and a lot of mid-sized markets, markets everywhere, uh, it gives you real geographic diversity, drives on your brand prevalence, makes businesses more likely to do business with you. With the acquisition of Savvis, we're going to be international as well as pretty broad domestically. Our reach is expansive and competitive with very large corporations. So I think we have a lot to be proud of. I actually think the Savas deal is a pretty exciting deal for us because it allows us to move into that space that's really a new frontier. We'll be one of the premier providers of cloud computing service, data hosting service in the world. With an impressive 15-year track record of outstanding performance, a solid balance sheet, and strong, predictable cash flows, CenturyLink is positioned to take advantage of growth opportunities while continuing to invest in the business, reduce debt over time, and provide positive returns for shareholders. 15 years worth of growth is something that a lot of companies never see. To be able to generate that kind of growth over that period of time and maintain that level of profitability, that level of free cash flow, that's impressive. It's great to have the capability to have investment. Wall Street's got to be looking at CenturyLink now and saying, you know, this is a company with a forward-looking vision and not just one of the dying legs. We have a laser focus on being the broadband leader in our markets. I do think that's where the future of this business is on the data side. And that uh, has a lot of consequences in terms of how we operate the business, where we invest, how we invest, 
how we approach uh, our customers day to day. There's definitely a lot of growth for broadband. Everything is going to the internet, including phones and everything else. It's, it's the future, and uh, I think that with you know some of the product suites we've had, especially in the old telecom um, days, uh, are declining. And I think that you know being declared as the broadband. Uh, leader in broadband uh, future, I think, is, is exciting. And it has a big component in making wireless service work, so I think that's where it's at. CenturyLink improves lives, strengthens businesses, and connects communities by delivering advanced technologies and solutions with honest and personal service. We know we're improving the lives of the people we're serving and the communities we serve. And I think it's a great thing that we can come to work realizing we're in a business that, that really is has a positive impact on people. To get up in the morning and go to work and know that you're improving lives, I mean, that's a great reason to get out yes. of bed. If we as a business can put into the community and give to the community to help the community be revitalized, to be stronger, then it's going to help the company as a whole. And I think that that comes across in our voice and our tone and when we're talking to customers. This notion of families being together, of business, of, of doing business and sort of being productive in the economy, it all ties together and it's all communications driven. Speeds and feeds and another phone company isn't going to necessarily make your life better, but here's how we can improve your business life, which should improve your, your personal life and everything else from there. There will be companies that can match or will match our technology, uh, our solutions perhaps, but they cannot necessarily match the, the experience we give our customers, the way we serve our customers, and that we can make a difference there. And we want, our, we want the customers to know that we care, that we, uh, we're concerned about the service we provide, and we can make a difference there. At CenturyLink, success isn't just about doing business. It's about doing business according to unifying principles, which guide how we conduct ourselves as a company and how we treat our customers. Our principles and our culture are who we are as a company. It's a personality for our company. The unifying principles provide the foundation for our culture of trust, accountability, customer focus. It has to be about the customer. Uh, we, we have to be focused on, on what brings real value to that customer. Compassion for employees and local market focus. Centrally, we try to push the decision making, the accountability as close to the customer as we possibly can. That won't happen overnight. Our organization is set, but it takes a while to get that in place. But we really believe it uh, can make a difference uh, in the future of this company. Continuing its history of resilience, CenturyLink is not just adapting, but thriving in the face of change as we create value for our customers and our shareholders. I don't think there's any right or wrong way to react. I think, as I said, you know, change is definitely scary. The key is like being flexible and uh, just being willing to go with the flow. Well, I'm encouraged that maybe some of this changes for the better. It's a lot of change, but I'm open for change anyway. I mean, one of the reasons I came on board was because of all the change and the opportunity to make something both for the company and for yourself. I don't have a problem with change. I'm old. I've been around a while, so change is part of life. The really thing with change, just embrace it. Things have changed a lot here, and we're, we're in a different world than we were a few years ago as a company, as a, in our jobs. Uh, we're seeing lots of changes, but I'm confident that we, we change our, our thought process, get our, our, our focus on what it's going to take to grow this company, uh, that we can grow this company, that there, we've got a great uh, group of people, we've got a great group of assets here. We can compete, and we can win. With a robust network, premier products and services portfolio, strong business mix, global scale, and financial strength, with a dedicated and skilled group of employees making it all happen, CenturyLink is positioned for the future.